Welcome back to another episode of Mega Man 2 Perfect Runs. I am your host, Start Marsh. Last time we dealt with Blue Bean Trap, and this time we deal with Dr. Wily himself. But first, we have to fight against all eight Robot Masters. So let's not waste any time and start with Air Man first. Because his air tornado, tornado attack seems hard, hard to, quite hard to dodge. Nice! Time to deal with Quick Man. The thing about him is that if he does two low jumps at the start of the battle, you're doomed. Good call there, he doesn't do that. Nice! Now that he's down, let's deal with Woodman. The thing about him is that if you can fight him constantly, but you have to do a very, very tricky dodge maneuver. Nice! I'm not risking it, that's why I did that. Alright, time to deal with Crash Man. The thing about him is that he can start this, ba start this battle to wait and... Alright, he chooses to cooperate, that's good. If he does a low, a short jump, there is act it is actually possible to do to dodge it, to like deal with it. However, you have to be pretty precise to deal with it. In other words, you have to move towards Crash Man. You have to let him set up his, and then as soon as he fires his Crash Bomber, you want to move out of the way, and then hug the left wall, and then wait for him to fire another Crash Bomber, and then you are set. Hold on a second, are the individual bombs called Crash Bombs, or are they still Crash Bombers? Because the ability is called Crash Bomber, in other words, you have the ability to be a bomber, however... The bombs aren't bombers themselves, so what is that supposed to mean? I don't understand, like, what? Oh well, he's close to death anyways. Should be close, anyways. There we go! Time to deal with Flash Man. The thing about him is that I don't want him to use the Time Stopper. Nice! Time to deal with Metal Man. You can lock him into a pattern, however you have to be pretty precise to lock him into this pattern. Nice! Time to deal with Heat Man. The thing about him is that he has that first volley of fire, which is pretty hard to deal with. Which is actually slightly tricky to deal with, but as long as you know how to deal with it, he's peak he's cake. I want to take him down slowly so that I don't miss miss 
so I don't like mess up against this guy. A little bit close there, but that was a little... That was alright. Nice! Now that he's down, let's go after Bubble Man! The thing about Bubble Man is that he's easy. And, because there are no death spikes, he is even easier. Yeah, well, he has to improve his layers a little bit. He has to improve his labyrinths a little bit, like... Now the thing about him is, the thing about this layer is that once you get rid of, once he's down, Bubble Man's down, the layer's back to normal physics, which is quite interesting. Anyways, let's go out, let's go after Y now. Yes! It's down, guys! It's finally down! Yes! Oh my god, it's down! That's quite interesting, isn't it? It's down, guys! Alright, we'll call it for here. Thank you very much for participating. And, um, time for the... Outtakes. Yeah. Let's go after the outtakes next. Man, the hardest one to deal with first because his air tornado attacks should be quite difficult to deal with. See what I mean there? Yeah, his tornado attacks should be quite hard to deal with. See what I mean there? Ah, jump too high, uh, jump too high. Ah, uh, see what I mean there? Oh, I jumped too high and I was so close to getting him down. Oh well. Ah, oh, I jumped too early. Ah, oh, so close though. Oh well, I was so close anyways. Oh, anyways. Quite hard to dodge. See what I mean there? I mean, they're not impossible to dodge, but yeah, a lot of precision is required. Oh, why did I, why did I tiny jump there? What a stupid pe person I am. Oh.
Did I just miss a shot? I missed a shot in the most stupidest way possible. Are you kidding me? Are you seriously kidding me? I missed a shot because I accidentally fired in the wrong direction. Ah, uh, well, die anyways, Heat Man. Ah. Uh. Crash one more time. I was so close and I jumped right into him! Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Oh my god! I was so close to defeating him and I jumped into him! Why? You stupid moron, Dark Marsh! Oh my god. So, there are a bunch of things that I do want to go through in this playthrough. So, let's begin. Let's begin off with Flashman. Now, his weakness should be the Crash Bomber. It's a little bit hard to hit him with that, though, so... Yep, yeah. he also has the Metal Blade. Also, for Metal Man, his weakness is the Quick Boomerang. And the Quick Boomerang only. Definitely only the Quick Boomerang. There is no questioning about the vol validity of it. Only a Quick Boomerang is weak to him. Right, he is only weak to the Quick Boomerang, if you understand what I'm trying to say. Oh wait, let's continue on. Crashman is weak to the Air Shooter. As, as you can see, it does quite a good ton on him. And it's quite easy to hit him with the Air Shooter as well, because he's moving upwards all the time. Alright, next up. Quickman is weak to the Time Stopper. He is weak to the Time Stopper, but it can't kill him completely. And I think he's the only boss that is able to take damage from the Time Stopper. He's weak to nothing else, by the way. Alright, let's continue on. Bubble Man! He is weak to the Metal Blade. And it takes him down pretty easily because the Metal Blade is easy to use. Alright. Wood Man. He is weak to the Atomic Fire. Look at how much a fully charged shot can do. It does like half of his health. Pretty impressive, I say. Alright, time to move on to Air Man. He is weak to the Leaf Shield. Nice! Time for Heat Man. Now, he is weak to, guess what it is, the Bubble Lead. That is right. I mean, fire is definitely going to be weak to a water weapon, am I right? And it does a pretty good job on him. It does a pretty good job on him, I do have to admit. Alright. Now, Wily 1 is weak to... Wily... Wily Machine 2 Form 1 is weak to the Crash Bomber. If you can see, it does... It, look at how much it did. Now, as you know the... You know the weakness to Wily Form 2, am I right? You get it? It's supposed to be the Crash Bomber, but the Metal Blade also does a pretty good job on it. 
Alright, so before we begin, I do want to show off a few things. Number one, Quickman is able to deflect weapons that cannot damage him. So let's begin by showing that off, alright? For example, the Metal Blade. He can most easily deflect. As you can see, if he deflects it, he resets his pattern. So that's something that's good to know. In other words, like... If he's like... If he did one jump, and then he gets hit by this... This weapon, that means he's gonna do... One, two, with boomerangs, three jumps. Interesting, isn't it? Also, another time where he will deflect is when... Let me show that off. You hit him at just the right moment. When he's clipping into the wall, and you hit him at just the right moment. I don't know why that is, but that's just what happens. It's a really pixel perfect shot, so I wouldn't rely on using that to get pin him down. And plus, it only stalls him for about like a few minutes, so I don't like that. So that's why I wouldn't recommend on relying on that thing. Plus, I have my own strategy myself on dealing with this guy, so it doesn't matter too much. Also, another thing I want to show off is Heat Man. So let's begin, shall we? First get him down to a reasonable health. Alright. Let me show you something first. Time for me to show you a, a little bit of something interesting. No matter what he does, if he you get if he uses if you use the atomic fire, he will completely recharge his health. That's something interesting I wanted to show. However, there's another weapon that can do the same thing on him. And I just wanted to see. Yes, when you're using the atomic fire, even when he's invincible to normal shots, it can still recharge him. Now there's another weapon that has the same characteristic of that, and I wanted to show it off real, real, real quick. I want to show off what it does. What it is. First get him to a reasonable health, and yeah. Yes, the Crash Bomber also completely heals him. That is right, my friend. You are not wrong. The, com the Crash Bomber can also completely heal him. And that's something interesting that I really like. You know? Yeah. Alright, that's basically it. Enjoy the, out uh, enjoy the difficulty analysis. Right, so, let's begin with the stage. This is definitely gonna get a high rating, without a, without a doubt. I thought it was gonna be pretty easy, but, huh, I was a little bit wrong, but, oh well. In the end, I give Wily Stage 5, Wily Machine 2, a solid 6 out of 10. The first five points come from Airman. He has two of those very difficult to dodge attacks. Air attacks, and you saw them. And I think you know which ones they are, just from looking at the outfits. Yeah, they were pretty tricky to dodge. However, it's nothing impossible. Once you practice how to dodge it, once you really take the time to actually try to practice it, it's nothing too hard, basically. And it goes by, well, pretty smoothly. Oh, the extra one point comes from the various difficulties that don't come from here, which include the other harder bosses, including Quick Man, Wood Man. Basically, the combination of Quick Man, Wood Man, and the Crash Bomber, and the last Crash Bomber that that is used to defeat Wily Form 2. Now, Quick Man himself. If he does a low two dub, dub, a double low jump boomerang, you're you're pretty you're pretty much doomed. Like you have no you have nothing that 
that you can do. There's nothing you can do. It's basically like that. You cannot dodge. But besides that, um, he's actually pretty easy. You can basically predict. You can basically predict much easy, easily how many jumps he's gonna do. Because this is flat terrain, right? So you know which walls you know which walls he's gonna clip into, and if he doesn't run to a certain wall, he's not gonna clip to anything, and he's gonna do his normal routine. But if he runs to a wall, he most definitely will clip. However, what is what should be known, what should you know, you should pay attention to, is that sometimes he will, it will look like he ran into a wall. However, it will look like he ran into a wall, but in fact he didn't. That's something you have to focus on. Another thing you have to focus is the height of the jumps. They're pretty much random. However, as long as you like get used to, you know, doing my strategy, which I will post later, okay? There is actually a strategy I have developed in order to deal with flat terrain quickly. And it's it's, it works pretty well, yeah. About Woodman. Now, Woodman, he you can fight him constantly, and he is very, very easy, okay? Basically, as long as you get used to the jump, I never found him to be too much of a too much of a problem. Except that if you panic, boom, leaves the face. Pretty much it. Now, Wily Machine number two, that last crash bomber, is actually a pretty tricky crash bomber shot to me. However, as long as you practice it, you should be able to do it pretty consistently. Now, what about the no miss rule? Well, it didn't add too much difficulty here. For one, although I do have to admit that sometimes if you're not careful, Quick Man will jump away from from the shot you're trying to make. However, if you take it, if you take it like, if you take it, you know, carefully. If you carefully defeat this guy, which means that you do not sh shoot too many shots, he shouldn't be too much of a problem. Woodman as well, if you are careful with your shots, he shouldn't be too much of a problem as well. Uh, the others are pretty much the same. So with that, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series so far. Next time, we will defeat the Wily. We will defeat a certain boss. Where has Wily gone to? And what is he up to? We will find out on the last episode of Mega Man 2 Perfect Runs. See you guys then.